This place seems nice. Uh, but not too nice. Y'all call it good for groups. Would you care to buy the lady? No, get out of here! <laughs> Sorry about that. I just, I hate when someone assumes two people are dating just because they look like they would make beautiful babies together. Are you sure you're okay with this? Honestly, Richie, I don't have a lot of experience with casual relationships. I have some experience with serious relationships and a ton of experience with no relationships. You're funny. Glad it came off that way. Uh, so, tell me about your day. How's work going? Well, I spent the morning reviewing side effects for our fungal cream. So it was a lot of ooze and fuss. And then, I had to tag along it by color, viscosity, and percentage of blood. Sounds wonderful. I was supposed to go back to India and get married, but I realized it wasn't what I wanted. So I got off the engagement and moved out here. If he wasn't your soulmate, he wasn't your soulmate. Oh God, please tell me you're not one of those. One of what? I want to say teenage girls, but that sounds mean. Come on, you don't believe that everyone has one perfect match? Of course not. That's ridiculous. I mean, what if your soulmate lived halfway across the world? You'd never meet? Yes, you would. I can give you like 20 examples, but that happened to Kate Hudson alone. You know what? People get upset when I talk about this. Let's just change the subject. No, no, no. no it's, it's fine. Are you saying that you don't believe two people fall in love? Of course they do. It's just that what people call love is actually a series of biochemical reactions in the brain that fade over time. Ah, yes. Like the old song when a man has a biochemical reaction for a woman. Raj, we're scientists. We don't need to feel threatened just because we understand the mechanisms that give rise to romantic feelings. It doesn't take anything away from the experience. Yes, it does. Actually, it takes everything away from it. Love isn't just science, okay? It, it, it's spiritual. It's an acknowledgement of a mystery that's greater than ourselves. It's what makes people write songs and poems and what has kept The Bachelor on TV for 21 magical seasons. Don't you think the fact that love is given away as a prize on a game show slightly undermines your argument? Uh, yes, but I've never missed an episode and I dare science to explain that. <laughs> I mean, Richie's nice. We're just so different. I know. Sometimes when you're dating, you meet weird people. I once met a girl who didn't like juggling. And she still doesn't. <laughs> so you're not going to see her again? What's the point? We're never going to be in a real relationship. Right. So you'll only be in a physical one? Exactly. Why right? would I want to spend time with someone like that? Somebody who's just interested in sex? Yeah. Are you really... Well, hold on. Give a chance. He's coming at us. <laughs> Is. What is there to get? She doesn't want to fall in love. At that point, all we are is two single people who find each other attractive and enjoy having... Oh, gotta go. <clears throat>